How you doing? Good, how are you? I hope you're doing anything. Good, thanks. How come you're filming our building? Because I want to. Oh. Hope you're not a terrorist. Huh? I hope you're not a terrorist. Hey, what's up guys? It's James Freeman out here at the Logan, Utah Police Department. Parking by permit only, Logan City Police Department. We've got the police department and the city hall here. Authorized personnel. Logan City Hall. I wonder where the PD entrance is. There's the City Hall entrance. There we go. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. How come you're filming our building? Because I want to. Oh. Hope you're not a terrorist. Huh? I hope you're not a terrorist. Logan City offices will be closed November 12th in observance of Veterans Day. We've got the Fallen Officers Memorial. I'll have to ask him where the Fallen Citizens Memorial is. Whoops. Right. Logan City Police prescription drug take back. Pharmaceutical disposal only. <laughs> Drug abuse. <sighs> Man, the glare, the glare there makes it hard to see everything. She's over there. Snitching. Yeah. No, thank you.
How you doing? Good, how are you? Something I can help you with? No, I'm good, thanks. What are you video on? This is everything I can see. No, but what, what are you thinking? What are you doing? What's that? What are you videoing in here? Everything I can see. Uh, who are you? I'm just irrelevant. Who are you? No, I need your ID. You need my ID? Yes, please, thank you. Hold on one second. Yeah, turn it on. Can I have your ID, please? Hold on one second. Let me get my lawyer for you. Uh, I don't need your lawyer. I need your ID. Well, that would get you in a lot of trouble. So. Uh, I don't think so. Are you, who are you? I'm the chief. <clears throat> and if you're going to come into my lobby and videotape in, in today's day and age, I think I have the right to ask you for to identify yourself. Okay. Is it not a public lobby? It <clears throat> is. Okay. But this is a little bit... <laughs> is photography a crime? I need your ID. I'm asking if photography is a crime. I it's need a, your ID, It's sir. a yes or a no. I need your ID. Why? Do you suspect me of a crime? <clears throat> Do you suspect me of a crime? Because in, in the state of we Utah, have the right to identify it. you can ask, but in the state of Utah, you have to suspect me of a crime in That's order to. That's not true. So it's a stop and ID state, huh? Without even suspicion of a crime. I can tell you, I'm news media. I'm here filming. Well, that would be nice to know. And that that's would, all you need to know. That would you be didn't helpful. ask. Sir, do you have uh, news media identification? Don't need it. Yeah, I'd like that. Well, you can like it all you want, Gary. Hey, this is the chief. Can you send a couple guys down to the lobby? It's Logan Police Department in okay. Logan, Utah. No, just I need to have them come down. Logan, Utah. Thanks. Logan Police Department, Logan, Utah. Yeah. Mods, if you can do you have, help me out. Do there. you have media ID? I don't need it. Well, I'm asking you to identify yourself, sir. This is really odd that you're it's walking around my lobby. In my lobby. Vi videotaping this lobby. My that's, lobby. That's suspicious to me. My lobby. And I'm curious to know who you are. I'm someone who checks up on the government, and it's suspicious to me that you're so worried about the people putting cameras on you. What are you doing wrong? I'm not doing anything. Then why are you so worried about the camera? Because I need to know who you are. You are doing something wrong right now. You're trying to demand ID unlawfully. Now, I can understand if you're suspicious. You can ask me what I'm doing. Hi, I'm here filming you to check up on you and make sure that you all are obeying the law and not violating people's rights. That'll be all. Am I detained or am I free to go? No, you're detained. I am detained? Yes. All right, so we're going to do an unlawful detainment then? I need your ID, sir. And what crime do you suspect me of? I need your ID. So you're demanding my ID, and yes, if I don't yes, give sir. it to you, then what? I need your ID, sir. Well, I'd like to assert my rights, but if you're threatening to violently throw me in a cage or something, if I don't give it, then I'll give it under duress, under threat of violence. Okay. I'm going to ask you to, um, to leave. You can, you're asking me to leave a public lobby. As the media, yes, you're, you're going to violate the so First you Amendment. you identified right? yourself as media. I don't, it, yes, I did. Okay. I just told you I was media. Leave. You're telling me to leave? Yes, sir. Or what? Will, or or will leave, you use sir. violence against me? Just leave. No, no, no. Look, I don't, I'm not here to cause you a problem, but, but you're, you're causing, causing a, problem. a problem. But you're causing a problem. I'm asking you to leave, sir. And w are you going to arrest me if I don't? I've asked you for your ID. You've denied that. Well, you I'm have. I'm asking you to leave the lobby, sir. You realize this is my lobby, right? That's fine. I'm asking you to leave. Okay. Are you giving me a lawful order to leave, or are you just asking me to leave? It's, Stand by. We'll okay. Just wait for okay. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to disobey any lawful orders, but uh, I have the right to be in here and film my public servants. <laughs> so if you're giving me a lawful order, or you're telling me you're going to arrest me if I don't give you ID. Did I say you were under arrest? Oh, no. Then don't I'm, I'm trying to clarify because I feel kind of threatened at this point. You guys are, yeah, you're calling more people with guns out here for a guy with a camera. What gun? There's a gun right there. Sure does. There's a gun right there. There's extra magazines. How many times do you think you need to shoot me? I mean, that's a lot of magazines. Bro, it's just a camera. Bro, where are you coming from with the gun? Exactly. Where are you coming from? Let me just walk around and do my video. Leave me alone. Can we do that? I'd like to know what your purpose is. It doesn't matter what you'd like to know. And besides, I already told you, my purpose is news media gathering content for a story. And yet you don't have ID that would... I don't need it. Yeah, do you understand what freedom of the press is? Do you know who That's issues freedom. press passes? Who issues them? Okay. Nobody. The state doesn't issue press passes. So to get a press pass, what you do is you go, you can write it in crayon, or you can create it yourself. Um, on a computer, you can print it out, you can laminate it, you can make it look as professional as you want. But no state anywhere in the United States issues press passes because we have the freedom of the press in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. So anyone with a camera telling a story about a tyrant is press. Sure. Yeah. And so that's all I'm here to do. I was hoping, you know, I thought you told us. Well, then go ahead and 
take your take your camera shot. Okay. I'm just gonna hang with you for a minute. Okay. Perfect. And, uh, Let's do that. Can we can we give each other arm's length distance from each other I for mean, my safety and yours? Sure. Would that be fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. I was just about done in here anyways, but I'll right. go back so, through here and. Well, and that hall yep. takes you down to the city office if you want to film there. Or you're <coughs> welcome to go out and take a look at the front of the building. It's a pretty building. It is. So. What was your name? I'm sorry, you got me real nervous with you approaching me with the aggressiveness. Right and no, there's nothing aggressive. Well, I, I feel intimidated and threatened. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Well, I don't think you are. But what was your name? Can you verbally give it to me? No, it's okay. You, you can't? You got my name right Is here. that what you tell the judge? I don't tell the judge that, no. No? Because you got a little bit more respect for the judge than, than the general public? I'm not going to engage you, sir. Well, you, you're not going to engage me? Good, then go back to your office. Go back to work, and I'll do my job. You said you're not going to engage me, but you're going to follow me around? Just gonna that would be just stalking, then. It's all good. That would just be stalking. It's and then good. I'd have to have the sheriff come out here and arrest you. Go ahead. He's on yeah. What's that? Yeah, exactly. Well, what exactly. Tomorrow? You guys are actually live on the internet right now. There's 1,100 people watching you. Okay. Watching you act up. Look at this. Oh, that is crooked, yeah. Can't have that, can we? Yeah. Must have had a drunk officer put that up, huh? Yeah, at least. Have a nice day. All right. You're dismissed. Thank you for coming. Hey, can I get the chief for... Can, can I talk to you for a second? Sorry? Can I talk to you again for a second? I mean, I can, I can ask them to stop calling. They were calling for my safety. So I can ask them to stop calling your phones if, if, my, if I'm going to be safe. I can't hear you. They're calling for my safety. And so if, if I'm going to be safe, then I can ask people to... Safe, sir? What's that? I did not feel safe. That's why I went live. I, I guess my question is, do you not feel safe? I didn't at the time, and that's why I went live. Yeah. At this time, I think I'm okay. You're not going to arrest me, right? Never said I was. Uh, okay, I'm just telling you, I felt threatened, therefore I went for, for auditor safety, I went live. Um, but I, I'm safe in your department, right? Well, it appears. From here on out? Okay, great. Then um, I'll get back in contact with you and we'll work on some procedures as far as not violating people's rights and intimidating people. If you want to do it, I like to take a proactive approach to things. I look forward to that. Okay, do you really or no? Do you really? We can take a proactive approach to it and make sure that you aren't violating other people's rights. But if you're going to continue to do it, then we'll have to come back and keep teaching you. Okay, I'll take that as a no, we don't want to take a proactive approach. <coughs> this isn't a big deal, guys. I mean, they, they don't understand how to deal with people who assert their rights. They haven't had to do it before. They haven't had to do it before, okay? So I understand, they don't get it. They don't know what to do. But if we can just take a proactive approach and say, oh, you know what, dude? We screwed up. Let's do something so that this doesn't happen anymore in the future. Then we're all winning, every one of us. Hey, thanks, Rick, or Rich, sorry. But if we could just say, oh yeah, you know what? I didn't even realize that I was screwing up. Our department hasn't had to deal with this before. 